work or study in the UK without IELTS or OET. Our official welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Setdako Ajimai. In this video, we are going to look at how to apply for UK NARIC. One may ask, what is UK NARIC? I mean, there is one of the ways to come to the UK without having to write the IELTS. So, if you are interested in this video, why don't you come with me as we look at that. Alright, welcome back. What I do on this channel is very simple. I share my IELTS experience with new IELTS tickets. And as part of that, I share the process you have to go through to I mean, finally get yourself to study or work in the UK. Alright, so if you are new on this channel, I officially welcome you. And uh, I would want you to subscribe to this channel and become part of the family. And to do that, just hit the subscribe button right under this video. So that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first person to I mean, have it. Also, make sure that you are clicking the like button. Um, what this means is that um youtube will basically showcase these videos as many people as i mean i mean to many people who need this video okay so hit that like button as well and then ask any question in the comment box all right so i believe you are still here because you want to get to know how to apply for the uk NARIC. you know most people would want to work or study in the uk but the problem has to do with ielts and you know i've made two separate videos about how to come to the uk without ielts and then there's the third one. In one of my videos, I made mention of the fact that, you see, people are coming to the UK without IELTS. And this is an indication that you can also come to the UK without IELTS. But the problem here is that most people have not researched into this and don't know how to go about it. And I feel like, why don't I make researches about this and then let you know. So, upon a research I made, I got to realize that um, you can come to the UK without the IELTS, and that has to do with using the UK NARIC route. And that is what we are going to look at in this video. So, if this is your first time hearing the UK NARIC route, I mean, then um, I believe that you are going to gather information here in this video. So, the question is what is UK NARIC and what is its purpose? Why is it set up? Who is it set up for? Now, let's go and look at this. So just open your browser and then type UK. So it's already typed in the Navic. Alright, so let's choose this first one here. Okay, so the UK Navic can also be called Ectis. This is because you know the UK has practically detached itself from the European Union. And uh, before it was part of the European Union. It used to be called the UK NARIC. But when they detached themselves from the uh, European Union, they had to rebrand themselves to be the Ectis. And that is why you are seeing the name Ectis. Okay. Alright, so the Ectis is a good standard provider of solutions and services in international education. Listen carefully. Ectis is a good standard provider of solutions and services in international education, training, and skills and in the development and recognition of global portable qualifications. So the simple commentary I can run on this is that the ECTIS is, should I say, a committee that has been set up to help international nurses who basically wish to train or probably work in the UK. Let's look at how they do it. We are an internationally trusted and respected reference point for qualifications and skills standards. Okay, we are UK-based and operate worldwide. With a global network and client base spanning 62 countries and 5 continents, we have a 20-year track record in international consultancy and development. Now let's move down and then look at um, UK ENIC is the UK National Information Center for Global Qualification and Skills. Following the UK's leaving the EU, which is the European Union, the former UK NARIC recognition agency function changes from a NARIC, which is an EU-only title, to the ENIC. Okay, so it it, it, it is that known as the UK NARIC, UK, I mean ENIC or the ECTIS, so whichever we the same. So let's look at the services they run and how they can help you come to the UK by escaping the IELTS routes. 
So let's see, services for individuals, helping you get a job, a steady place, or professional right in the UK. Okay, that's great. Helping you get a UK visa or settlement in the UK. Alright, not sure what service you need, click here to, okay. And then they can help organizations as well, university colleges, providers, and the government ministries, national agencies, and a whole lot of that. So I'll leave the link in the description box so that I can read more about it, okay. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to read everything here for you to see. Now, let me give you a brief description of what this, I mean, committee does. Now, once you decide to come to the UK to do that work or study, and uh, you don't have, I mean, you can't sit for the IELTS or OET, or you've basically tried on a number of occasions and it's not working, and what you have to do is that you can submit your degree qualification, or you can submit your, I mean, diploma qualification to this committee, and what they will do is that they would look into it, and then basically compare your qualification to that of the UK standard. You know, most countries teach in English and IELTS can be the only proof that you can speak the English language. So that is why this committee has been set up, so that they can compare your qualification, I mean your educational qualification to the standard of the UK. Just to make sure you were taught, I mean you did your course or your program in English and that you don't need any IELTS or OET to prove your English proficiency. So basically this is one of the jobs of the, I mean, UK NARIC, okay? So all you have to do is to just create an account with them and then upload your document. Now, it will be left with them to compare these documents with the UK standard. It's as simple as that. And once you go through the process, then they help you attain the visa. And then also, I mean, you can see this on the functions here. They help you get a job, steady place, or professional rights. And uh, as part of that, they also help you get a UK visa and then settlement in the UK. It's as simple as that. This is authentic and um, you can try this process, okay? If you have written out on so many occasions and it's not working. Okay, so let's go and look at how to basically go through the process. So how to apply for UK NARIC. So let's say you try the IELTS on a number of occasions and it's not working. Or well, basically you fear to take the IELTS and you are looking for other means to come to the UK or to escape the IELTS route. Now let's see. Now, candidates can apply for UK NARIC by following the below steps. First of all, you have to create an account with them. Okay. And then you sign in with your credential. So once you create an account, you have a password and uh, a username. So you just have to sign in with these two things. And you select the appropriate option, mostly option one, and fill up the form. We look at how the process is done, you don't have to worry. Now, once you fill out the form, you upload your degree certificate, record of your transcript, and I mean your medium of instructions, letter from your college or university. So whichever university or college you attended, you have to probably secure a letter from them, okay? And then you upload. And this goes for and then this goes with a fee. You have to pay a fee of £140. And this is as of April 2021. I'm not too sure if it has been increased or not, but you can still make research about it. Okay. And then once you have paid this amount, you submit your application. It will take 15 to 20 days to deliver it to your address. It depends on your geographical area. All right. So let's go and look at how the process is done. Okay. So I'll leave the link in the description box for you to um, have access to that. So first of all, you are going to create an account. I mean, I'm not going to go through the entire process, but I just want to show you one or two things you need to do to, I mean, upload your documents to them. All right, so if you have already created an account, all you have to do is just click on the sign in here, and then you add off your email and password, okay? But let's presume we have no account, okay? We are going to create one. Let's go back. All right, so let's read a little information here. Registration of an account should be made by the qualification holder. So you can't let somebody create an account on your behalf you have to do it yourself um the name nationality and date of birth should reflect the information as they will appear on your final document so whatever information i'm going to put in here okay should be the same information that will reflect on your um final document so the diploma or degree certificate or whatever you are uploading should bear the same name as you fill out here okay so take notice of that Incorrect information will likely delay your application or how you can use our document. If you do not have a surname or family name, please enter not applicable in that field. Okay. So let's say um, I'm going to help you out with the form. So the title, you just have to choose whichever title that befits you. Are you Mr. Are you Mrs. Whichever. So let me go for Mr. And then you have to input your name in here. Let's say set. Okay. Set dark home. Alright. And then your surname. You must to be. 
whichever surname you have at Gmail. Good. And then you have to input your email address. Um, whichever email address you have, just make sure I type in that in here. Okay. And then you confirm your email address once more. So you have to type the same thing in here. Just to be sure you are having the same email address. Gmail.com. Good. Now your date of birth, you have to choose the year. So let's see. Um, um 95 then the month let's say march and then the day let's say 30th okay nationality you have to choose the country you come from so i come from let's say ghana all right that's the qualification whether i have refugee status um not really so all you have to do is to just click no but if you want to read more information about um how the refugee status is you see that i i mean in the black, I mean, in circle. Yeah, I just have to click on that and you get a lot of information about it. So, no purpose of inquiry why are you applying? Why are you submitting your document to them? You just have to look at a whole lot of them. Is it a sign nationality consent? Is it for employment or job application? Is it entering into higher education? Is it entering into further education, registration, professional body? I mean, whichever befits your um, region, you just have to choose. So, we want let's say we say nationality, okay, and then. The last thing you have to do is to write, I mean, create a password. So let's see, I use my name as my password. And then you confirm your password. So register. So let's see, there are some fields I didn't input in the detail. So, um, Let's go to field of interest. In health and public, I'm choosing that way. So what this means is that my password doesn't tally. It's whatever I entered in the second box. So let me just create a new one. All right, so once you click on register, it takes you to the next step. And here, um, you have to go through and then see what it says. Thank you for registering with Ectis. We will send you email updates throughout your application. Please add ectis.com as a trusted domain. Okay, so next step, an email has been sent to please follow the link in this email to confirm your email address and the whole to that. Before you start your application, check which service you require by using so um at this moment you have created an account with actis okay and they will send a confirmation email so let me go back to my email account and then let's see if i find that confirmation in there um, so all right so i have it here actis all right so all you have to do is that um thank you for registering with Texas to ensure your account is created please click here to confirm your email address so let's do that all right so i have confirmed my email address the next step is before you start your application check which service you require by using our interactive guide okay so just read whatever information is here and then um choose which one um befits your preference okay so i'm not going to go into details because i don't need it Okay, so once everything is perfectly done, um, you can log in to I mean your your dashboard. Okay, and then the process starts. 
um, they actually upload your document, I mean, whichever document, your transcript, your um, degree qualification or diploma qualification, um, a letter from your university or college. And with this document, um, what, they have, I mean, what they are going to do with it is that they are going to compare it to the UK standard of educational I mean, um, qualification to see if you probably don't need any English proficiency. Okay, and as part of that, they will help you get a job, they will get you a settlement and all of that. So, this is one of the legitimate ways to come to the UK without IELTS. I want you to try this process, but you know, if you know that it comes with a fee, you are paying £140 for them to I mean, carry out this process for you. I believe this video has been very helpful, and that if it has, I will encourage you to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button right under this video because I have a lot of information to share with you in here. I also want you to become a patron. I mean, join my community and then support me in making videos um, such as this, okay? So that, I mean, you can pursue your career in the UK, move back to your country, and then probably, I mean, make it better. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.